Another migrant caravan from Central America making its way to our southern border. It's a mass of about 1,000 people. It crossed from Honduras into Guatemala on Monday night. The president responded today on Twitter to all this. He said this, quote, The United States has strongly informed the president of Honduras that if the large caravan of people heading to the U.S. is not stopped and brought back to Honduras, no more money or aid will be given to Honduras effective immediately. That threat may have worked, at least in the short term. Guatemalan authorities say they are arresting the caravan's leader and plan to deport him back to Honduras. David DeFerry is a former foreign policy expert for the Obama campaign, well-versed in international law and the politics of Central America. We also, also note that he is a apparently registered foreign agent for the government of El Salvador. David, thanks for joining us tonight. Why is that not exactly the response that every president ought to give when a foreign country a, in, attempts a kind of invasion? Why would we Here's pay for that? Here's why. So we have every right to protect our border, and we don't have to let any of these migrants in. But if the goal is for them not to come here, we should not be cutting off foreign aid to Honduras. Honduras is getting that aid from the U.S. so we can help improve the economy in Honduras. And the reason these people are leaving Honduras is because the economy is terrible and there are no jobs. These are economic refugees, and the reason they're trying to come to the U.S. is they're looking for a better life. So if we don't so, want so, them so, to so, come... In the long term, if we don't want them to come, we have to try to work with Honduras and the other countries in Central America to improve their economies so the people stay. Okay, so how is that working for us? So we've given, obviously, a lot of aid to El Salvador over the years. One-third of all Salvadorans on the planet now live in the United States. One-third of all existing Salvadorans. So clearly, everything we've done for Salvador hasn't stopped the flow of one-third of their entire population into our country. So, like, that doesn't actually work. So why not just say, look, rich people who run third world country, we're going to punish you personally if you let this crap continue. I don't. Why is that a bad idea? We haven't given very much money to Central America. Now, keep in mind, we only give about 1% of our budget overall to in foreign aid around the world. Just a very small amount of that goes to Central America. Look at the Marshall Plan that so we how put much in goes place. To, how much goes to, uh, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Why yeah. don't we give any? One third of all Salvadorans live in our country, okay, a lot of them illegally, and I'm sure they're all great people. I'm not attacking them. I'm merely saying this arrangement isn't working. They're offloading their poor into our country at a time when working class jobs are going away due to automation. They're benefiting, we're losing, and we're still paying them. So I just, shouldn't we I just, reassess this? I just explained that to you. The reason that we're giving aid is to help improve those countries so the people stay. That's the long-term goal. I think you and I both agree on that, as do you know many policymakers here in Washington. Well, but no, we haven't done, I don't we haven't I done a good, no, good enough job. Neither Democrats nor Republicans have done a good enough job of helping these countries improve their economies, helping these countries improve the rule of law so but people don't leave. that's not true. But hold that on. Is Mexico. True, Tucker. So we so hold and on. We look at the NAFTA, results. And Mexico has jumped more than 10 spots on the economic development list internationally. I think it's now number 11. We've made Mexico rich with trade. Billions and billions of dollars, millions of jobs. And yet we still have 22 million people in this country, legally the majority of the Mexican. So I'm not attacking Mexico or Mexican people. I'm just saying we've made Mexico way richer than it was, and we still have an inflow from Mexico. So, like, we're not getting anything out of this. Tucker, that's are a we? great example. That's a great example. Yes, we are, because far less immigrants are coming from Mexico right now. You referred to immigrants that are already here from Mexico, many of whom came a long time ago before the Why benefits of NAFTA. Back? Before the benefits of NAFTA went in place. So that's a, if you look at the data, we do not get that many immigrants from Mexico. And even your example that we're talking about today is migrants from Honduras, not from Mexico. They're going to come we, no, through you're, you're, Mexico. You're, 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 They're going to pass me. Mexicans have, who are enjoying we, the we benefits have, of NAFTA, wait, who are gainfully employed and than, supporting their families. Okay. So okay, David, you, David, you gave I'm a sorry. great since, example. Since you're using the term point. data, let me refer you to the essential datum in this conversation, which was we have more than 10 million Mexican citizens living in our borders illegally. Once again, not attacking them. But if the model that you're proposing works, and we both know that it doesn't, this is all a joke, this is all a huge lie, the whole point is to make the Democratic Party more powerful, we both know that, but let's pretend, let's just play along. If your model works, then why are they still here? Why haven't they gone back to the newly enriched Mexico, which we enrich with our money and our jobs? Well, many Why came, that work? Many Why came a long Why time ago. The data I'm referring to is over the last few years, Why illegal immigration, back? illegal immigration from Mexico has gone down. You agree with me about that, right? 
Well, but I, I'm missing it. So we made Mexico, you'll concede because the, the data, as you said, show that Mexico's way richer than it was 20 years ago, way richer. We did that. We suffered as a result of that, but we also got all of their poor people who they didn't feel like supporting with their non-existent social safety net so they can make more billionaires, which they have assiduously done. And we get shafted and we're paying for the health care of their poorest people. You don't see what I'm talking about at all? No, because your point doesn't even make sense. We're talking about illegal migra immigration, right? And illegal immigration has gone down for Mexico. And it could go down for Honduras and Guatemala and other countries in Central we America if we helped money. improve those economies. We right. only give a little bit of money. So let's help improve those economies so yeah. the people no, stay. No, I think it's a really good point. It's, it's our fault, there. and we need to pay more. So think I'm of that. I'm not saying it's our 15th. fault. That's where I've never said it's our fault. I said we can help. Oh, it's totally our fault. David, thank you so much. Thank you.